this podcast, we'll provide an overview of the new features available in EDIUS 9.30. This update focuses on customer wishes. New are Closed Caption Subtitle Display 50 60p Timecode Display Red Raw Decoding GPU Support Advanced Optical Flow Options Coloured Markers Extension of the default exporter. Improvements of the media management software Mink. Further improvements of EDIUS. Let's get into the details of the new features. Closed caption subtitle display. Numerous TV stations in the USA use EDIUS. As a consequence of this, there has been a desire for closed caption support. In contrast to subtitles which are burnt into the image, closed captions can be switched on and off. So, they are part of the video file or video stream, but not an element of the image. All common formats are supported. To display closed captions during playback, go to View, On-Screen Display, Closed Caption, On-Off in the menu bar. EDIUS displays the closed captions in the title safe area of the recorder. To show the subtitles, it is required that the resolution, frame rate and pixel aspect ratio of the project match the source. Originally, this feature was announced exclusively for the workgroup version. Now, EDIUS Pro users can also benefit from the closed caption display. Furthermore, Additional metadata will be passed through. This feature was originally reserved for the workgroup version as well, but will also be available for Pro users. 50 60p timecode display. More and more users use camcorders which record in 50 or 60 frames per second. EDIUS has always supported these frame rates. Starting with version 9.30, EDIUS is now introducing the 50 60p timecode at the request of many users. This means that the frames are numbered from 0 to 49 or 59 respectively. Red Raw Decoding GPU Support Due to its extensive and fast color correction, EDIUS is also interesting for cinematic work. In this area, filmmakers need powerful processing of raw material. Sony RAW and Canon RAW are already accelerated during processing by the graphics card or GPU. As of EDIUS 9.30, there is now also full GPU acceleration for RED RAW. The minimum requirements for the graphics card are 2GB of RAM and OpenCL 1.1 or CUDA 6.5 support. Advanced Optical Flow Options The optical flow technique was integrated for the first time in EDIUS 8.30. It was the first editing software on the market that performed convincing slow motion and frame rate conversions in real time. Users are now requesting to be able to manually adjust the calculation method so as to obtain optimum results even with complex footage. As of EDIUS 9.30, different quality options are now available for the interpolation method. In addition to the built-in preset for high-speed processing, the quality levels medium quality, high quality and highest quality are available, as well as a customized setting. When using the custom setting, you can optionally enable the advanced match. If this option is not ticked, the previous algorithm will be used. When ticked, the quality is improved in most cases thanks to the new algorithm. The accuracy of the analysis can be adjusted in four steps. With each level, the calculation time increases fourfold. Colored marker. Sequence and clip markers support the user in various tasks. They allow you to mark and annotate a specific area, divide along passages, 
help synchronize, act as BD DVD chapter markers, and much more. Users have inquired about the possibility of using different marker colors. This makes working with markers easier and clearer. In the new version, there are now different color options for sequence and clip markers. In addition to the current standard color orange, now there is also red, yellow, blue, pink, and purple. In addition to this, it is possible to export and import marker lists, including the color information, as an XML file. For more flexible exchanges, users wished to use the XML file format for the marker lists, which is implemented from EDIUS 9.3 on. When importing CSV marker lists that were exported with a previous version of EDIUS, the markers in the new version appear as normal markers in orange. New XML marker lists are not backwards compatible with previous versions of EDIUS since they only use CSV. However, it is still possible to output the marker list as CSV just as before. So the marker lists can still be imported into previous versions of EDIUS. Here the markers will appear, as before, in orange. In order to make better use of the new colored markers, we recommend adding the corresponding buttons to the marker window. To do so, go to Settings, User Settings, User Interface, Button, and select Marker. You can now set up the buttons for the markers. Select the desired marker colors. Extension of the default exporter. Most EDIUS users always use the same export format. For this, EDIUS offers a default export. Since it has become more and more commonplace for the need to export in various formats, users have now requested to be able to use several default export presets. In EDIUS 9.30, up to four default export presets can now be individually created. The presets can be renamed accordingly. For even faster export, keyboard shortcuts and buttons can be set for the default export templates. This applies to the file output as well as the batch export. Improvements to the media management software Mink. In Mink, there have also been some optimizations. The 5060p timecode option has been integrated into both the basic and standard versions. In both versions, the upload function has been updated. The closed caption subtitle display option is now implemented in Mink standard. In addition, Mink now supports the Canon EOS C700 FF Cinema RAW 5.9K format. Additional improvements to EDIUS. As with Mink Standard, the previously mentioned Canon EOS C700 FF Cinema RAW 5.9K format is also supported in EDIUS 9.30. The clip properties now provide support for higher frame rates up to 240p. This is very helpful in terms of working with HFR or slow motion footage. Additionally, there are tooltips including extended information for the color spaces. The MP4 export is extended by settings for the optimization for streaming and multi-audio applications. EDIUS 9.30 now reads additional metadata from the Panasonic AU EVA1. Furthermore, some dialogue windows which were only available in English are now displayed in the localized language, such as, for example, in German. Exclusive to EDIUS Workgroup 9, the monitor control function supports additional monitors. Moreover, the Workgroup version has the option to export XAVC Intra 4K 
and AVC Ultra 4K in the MXF container as one file. Again, this was a customer request made by the Berlin Philharmonics, who are known worldwide for their UHD HDR concert productions and work with EDIUS 9.